Hey guys, you're in the machine. This is yoga for the spine. If you're thinking, isn't it all yoga for the spine, you would be correct because it's impossible to move your body without engaging your spine a little bit. Here though, we're gonna focus on moving the spine specifically front to back, side to side, and twisting in each direction without worrying about stretches for the arms or the shoulders or the hips or the legs. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. Easy seated pose, middle of your mat, whatever makes you comfortable to have a tall spine. You can have a half lotus, a lotus, sukhasana, whatever you like, as long as you can sit up tall. You can even have your legs out if your knees aren't comfortable folded. From here, all we're gonna do is take a couple of deep breaths to set our breath pace through our nose. So seal your lips, inhale, nice and big through the nose, and then exhale, nice and strong through the nose. One more time, inhale, biggest breath of the day, big exhale, squeeze it out. Using that breath pace, let's get into it. Hands rest on knees, we're gonna round and extend. It's gonna be like cat cow. So I exhale, round, drop the chin, shoulder blades forward, inhale, Extend, arch, lift the chin, tailbone pokes away, shoulder blades go together. Exhale, round. I'm moving the whole spine here. Inhale, cow style, shoulder blades together, maybe a little pull on the knees. Tailbone away, chest leads, chin up, exhale, cat style, tuck the chin, tuck the tailbone, round, separate the scapula. Let's do just a few more of these. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Nice and easy, try to time it with your breath. Don't copy me, because I'm talking and breathing choppy, but you should be focusing on breathing in and out your nose. Moving the spine front to back now. Few more of those. Remember the spine is a unit. Sometimes people make the mistake of trying to focus on one spot that's sore, not realizing that that soreness could have sort of put them out of position in another part of the spine. So it's really important to treat it from the tailbone to the neck. Let's come on up nice and even, right where we started. Core is engaged, not squeezing like crazy, but engaged so we're upright. We're gonna do a little bit of side bending, really easy, right hand down. Push the left hip away and reach the left arm over. Just drop down on that elbow if you want to, side to side. And we'll just switch it over with our breath. So inhale through the middle, exhale as we collapse, not collapse, but as we fold to one side. Inhale through the middle. Reach down, push a little bit and reach as you exhale. Inhale through the middle, reach left, get the mat and push a little. Take the right hip that way as you reach and exhale. Through the middle, exhale. Inhale through the middle, exhale, fold. Inhale. Exhale, we'll just do a couple more, keep it even. Inhale through the middle. Exhale on the fold, one more to the right. Inhale through the middle, exhale. Back to center, nice and square, upright, shoulders over hips, easy little twists here. All we're gonna do is switch our hands. So right on the inside, left on the outside, little twist. Not much yet because we're not warm, whatever feels comfortable. You're gonna find most of the twisting comes out of the lumbar vertebrae. But that doesn't mean we wanna avoid the middle of the back and the cervical spine. So even though I feel like I could do most of this twist with the low back, I wanna move my shoulders too. Try to even it out if that makes sense. We'll switch the other side. So left inside, right outside, upright, easy little twist. Not warm yet. Looking over that right shoulder but not cranking it. If you want to do some cranking, we'll do it later when we're warmed up. Switch right inside, left outside, upright, and twist. Inhale, 
Inhale through the middle. Exhale on the twist. Inhale through the middle. Exhale on the twist. Inhale through the middle. Exhale on the twist. You might hear your back pop during all this. No extra charge for that. I'm not a licensed chiropractor. I just play one on YouTube. One more through the middle. Inhale. Exhale. Twist. Let's find our way to a tabletop position for some real cat cows. So we're gonna rock forward, hands under shoulders, knees under hips, same old tabletop. Let's engage it first so we feel the core engagement, like we're pulling those stomach muscles, those transverse abs back toward our spine. And we'll inhale, cow, tailbone up, chin up, shoulders back, scapula together, exhale, cat, push away, push away, push away, tuck the tailbone, scapula apart, chin down, inhale, cow, exhale, cat, inhale, cow, breathing through the nose, exhale, cat, tuck the tailbone, push, when you think you're high enough, give it one little extra push, and then inhale, cow, Few more of those on your own. Cat. Cow. Remember on these movements, we want to engage on the flexion side and relax on the extension side. That can be kind of hard to do, but here I'm squeezing my low back a little bit, trying to relax my stomach. And then I'm squeezing my stomach a little bit, trying to relax my back. And the core tends to work as a unit, so this isn't really that easy. But I want to squeeze to pull with the lower back muscles, relaxing the transverse abs, and then squeeze to pull with the transverse abs and relaxing the back. So you have to really stay engaged with these postures, even though they're pretty simple looking movements. Just a couple more. We're going to get another twist now by reaching the right hand forward, left hand through, and then turn as much as you want. All we're looking for is a spinal twist. So don't worry about what your legs are doing. Don't worry too much about what your arms are doing other than guiding the twist. You can look under your armpit, you can reach, you can wrap, but try to feel a twist. You may need to reach your shoulder over a little and then pull back to set that tension. We're just gonna hold this and breathe for a minute. You might have both arms out if it's not comfortable. You might wrap, you might set one on your butt. Whatever you want to do, but engage the twist. You're going to feel it mainly in your low back here, which is good. Most of the people I, I deal with that have back trouble tends to be in the lower back. I think that's because that's where we do most of our twisting and a lot of our lifting. When you're ready, we'll switch it out. Reach the left hand forward, right hand through, drop the shoulder. Forget about what your legs are doing or your hips are doing. We're just focusing on the spine. This is like permission to be sort of sloppy in yoga. Breathe it out. Rest your head if you want. Maybe reach past and pull back. Spinal twist. Look up under the armpit if that helps. Reach up, wrap, whatever gets you to twist. And we'll breathe that out. When we're even on both sides, we're going to come up to the knees. Hips over knees, a little deeper of a side bend. So all we do is reach as far as we can. That might even mean like plopping over and lifting the other knee and then pushing back and reaching up and over. Try not to bend forward though. So even if you're, even if you're kind of in a funky spot, push the left hip and try to reach the left arm to the right. A block could be handy here. You got a lot of choices. We're just trying to get a little bit of a deeper stretch than the seated. Let's try the other side. Left hand down. Even if you come out of position and have to sort of push back in, reach up and over with the right. Right hip pushes to the right. And remember to breathe. Try to be lateral in your movement more or less, not bending over just to reach the floor. If that means you're off the floor, fine. Nobody cares. From here, we're gonna find our way nice and smooth to a standing position to do a little flow. I'm gonna do a yogi teleport. 
All right, don't try that at home, only for expert yogis. Such a simple flow here, just focusing on the back. Remember that, so we're a little bit warmed up from our seated and our kneeling postures. We're gonna start top of the mat, feet about hip width, nice and easy, fine mountain pose, and then bend your knees a little bit. Make sure your core is engaged, your back is straight, palms facing forward. Again, forget about what's going on with your hips and stretching your legs and all that stuff. We just want to focus on the spine here. So nice and easy, bend your knees, step your left foot back and to the left a little bit to find some stability. Doesn't have to be back very far. All you want to do is set up a forced balance to where you have to use a little bit of core here. Don't stretch the psoas unless you really want to. Don't worry about anything else. We're going to put the palms back scapula together, lean forward a little bit, maybe bend into that lunge, and then back bend. Tailbone lifts up, chest lifts up, shoulders are down, chin is up, scapula squeeze together. So I'm engaging the back muscles and relaxing the front. From here, reach down, try to frame the front foot, and push away, cat style. So we're separating the scapula, tucking the tailbone, engaging the transverse abs, and then engaging everything to reach up. Right arm down, left arm over, little spinal twist. Try to stay perfectly lateral in the movement. A little, little side bend, rather. Spinal twist is coming now. Left hand reaches, right hand goes back. Now we have a twist. You do want to engage the front thigh to make sure it's not chasing your circle. Hips stay in one spot and shoulders go the other way. Step it up, back to where we started. That's it, let's try it on the left side. Bend the knees, right foot back, engage, palms forward, scapula together, a little bit of a lunge, and then back, back bend. Forget about what your legs are doing. All we're here, all we're doing with the legs here is trying to keep some some stability under us so we can work the spine. You do want them square, but don't worry about straightening out to stretch that hip flexor. Tailbone up, chest up, shoulder blades squeeze together, chin up, fold over the front leg. If you need blocks, that's fine, but frame the foot. I like to do the fingertips. Push away, engage the stomach muscles, relax the back. Should feel like a cat pose. Inhale up, left arm down, right arm reaches. Little side body bend. And then right arm forward, left arm back. Little easy twist. Squeeze the left leg in though. Don't let it chase the circle. Stepping it up one more time and then we'll speed it up. Mountain pose with knees a little bent. Bend down, stepping it back. Find an easy lunge, it doesn't matter how far back you go. Little bit forward, back bend. Palms face forward, scapula together, tailbone up, chin up, chest up, squeezing the back, relaxing the stomach. Exhale, fold over the front knee. Blocks if you need them, tented fingertips if you need them, push away, cat style. So you're squeezing your abs, relaxing your back. Inhale up, side body, reach the right, down, reach the left, up and over. Try not to dump into this hip. Keep reaching up as you reach over, like you're trying to get extension in your spine. And then nice and easy, little twist. Remember to breathe. Step it up, other side. Nice and easy, mountain pose slightly bent, stepping it back. If you find yourself wobbling, just widen your stance, no big deal. Scapula together, palms face forward. Tailbone up, chin up, chest up. Don't jam your shoulders. Engaging the back, relaxing the stomach, and reverse it. Hands down, frame the foot. Engage the stomach, push away cat style. Relax the back. Reach up, side bending over to the left, getting the right side. Right arm reaches, left arm reaches. And now right arm forward, left arm back, little twist. Stepping it up. Remember to breathe. Let's try this on a breath count a couple times. It's perfect for breathing because we're opening the body and then we're closing it. So, bending the knees, mountain pose. Stepping it back. Inhale, get settled. Exhale and inhale again. 
exhale, fold. Inhale, up. Exhale, inhale, over. Exhale, inhale, open. That's the pace that we want. Stepping it up. One more time. Inhale, stepping it back. Exhale. Inhale, open. Lead with the chest. Exhale, fold. Inhale, up. Exhale. Inhale, over. Exhale. Inhale, twist. Stepping it up. Let's do it again. It's so easy. Anyone could memorize this. Bending. Stepping it back. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Inhale, over. Inhale, open. Ah, feels good. If your legs are wobbly and you're starting to do too much work in the lower body, shorten the stance. Let's step it up. Other side. Stepping it back. Inhale, open. Exhale, fold. Inhale, up. Exhale. Inhale, reach over. Exhale. Inhale, twist. Stepping it up. Shake it out if you need to. Give the legs a rest one more time. All I'm gonna do is breathe. You know the steps by now. My back feels a lot better. Let's finish with an easy little rag doll forward fold. Forget about the stretch in the lower body and the hamstrings. Bend the knees as much as you want. Round the back like crazy. Grab your arms, opposite elbows, to add to the pull. So we're trying to create some traction here. First, we're gonna be still. Relax the head, relax the arms. Make sure your stomach is touching your thighs and try to experience the traction, the pull, the gravitational pull of all the weight of your shoulders, head, and arms, kind of putting that spine in traction. And if it feels good, you can start to move around a little bit. Ragdolling is always cool, but it costs you that weight. I want as much weight as possible here for the traction. Now let's touch the mat, widen our knees a little bit, bend the left knee a lot, straighten the, the right leg if you want, plant the left hand, and let's finish with a twist. Twist, spine is gonna try to be straight. Do whatever you want with the other arm. You can reach way up, you can wrap, you can rest it. But this twist is being forced by the push off the mat, so don't let yourself dump into that shoulder. Push and breathe, try to keep your spine straight. The spine, remember, moves in six directions, but only one at a time to be safe. And breathe. Reach a little farther over if you want more of a push. And let's switch it out. Bend the right knee as much as you need to. Right hand down or on a block or fingertips or whatever works. Push away to help the twist. And then lift the left shoulder. Do whatever you want with that arm. Remember, this is not Instagram yoga. This is just making our spines feel fantastic. Forget about the form. Focus on the sensation. 
Of course, while always being safe about the movements. Reach over a little more if you want for a little extra push. Don't dump that shoulder. When you've had enough of that and it's even on both sides, let's find a seat and really quickly do those exercises we started with. Feel the difference now that we've gotten a little blood flowing. So hands on knees, round it. I'm going so much lower. Inhale, extend it. Round it one more time. Inhale, extend it. Let's reach over. See if we're getting any lower on the side bend. I'm like all the way to my elbow, man. I'm something special. Notice how I'm pushing here to keep that butt cheek from coming up. Try it on the other side. Push, reach, all the way to my elbow. So much better in a very short amount of time. And now the test is the twist. Opposite grip straight. Turn, oh, I could back out of a parking spot today. It's like twice as far and it does not hurt. Switch. You may find one side twists a little better than the other. That just means you're normal. Nice work. It's all about the spine. If you get your spine feeling healthy and flexible, all the other poses come together. Let's do this. But the whole point of the machine is to relieve you of that suffering.